I was born in Colombia, yeah, in Cali. Uh, pretty much the city where everybody likes to dance salsa. I moved here about 20 years ago, I was 11. I first went to Lancaster High School, then went to Highland, and then graduated from Port Hill. I worked in McDonald's when I was 15 and a half, and I was working there for two years. And I actually, it was, it was cool, it was a good experience, learned a lot of things, and from there I moved on to different jobs until I saved up enough money to open up my first business at 17. Rio has always been my, my dream restaurant to open up since I was like, 17 to be honest. I fell in love with the idea. I've been kind of studying it, preparing it, even from like cooking and just doing a lot of grilling for sure and experimenting, training myself to finally have this idea coming here. We actually won uh, AV's Best uh, in the restaurant category for 2018, but uh, the, definitely we have a good amount of people that support us in the restaurant and has helped us out grow and succeed big time. Yeah, I started next door, it was a small little place. We fitted pretty much about 30 to 40 people and it was always so packed, so busy that once we had the opportunity to expand next door, it doubled our size and it was very much needed. We open every day at 5 p.m. Every day we open, and then depending on the day, we close at 9 or 10 p.m. But once you're in the doors, we'll definitely take care of you. We take walk-ins any day, but like if you make reservations, it always makes it a little bit more organized for my staff to take care of you guys. Meats come to your table, that way it works out. Everything comes in our swords, and then we carve it to your table. We have about 16 different meats that you can actually have from that if you get to choose the all you can eat. All the meat comes to you strictly from the grill. Our chicken and pork gets cooked all the way. We have chicken with bacon, our frango, which is our marinated chicken, and different types of cuts and different flavors as well. Picanha is uh, this meat that has a little fat surrounding it. We put it in the store, we put about three of those. We put sea salt and we rotate it. So every time we rotate it, the nice sea salt covers the, the whole meat and the fat as it starts melting a little bit, it starts giving it some of the flavor. And then when it's ready, it comes to your table, we carve it, you get some tongues, you grab it with it, and then you get to have as much as you want. I love the frango. I like our, oh my God, it just, everything is, is so good. Definitely our garlic beef is something that you definitely want to try out. We even have chicken hearts that, some people like it, some people are different about it, but we have every type of cut that you can have. We are gonna be introducing a vegetarian option and also a vegan option, so if you wanna do like a skewer or a prepare, we're gonna be bringing them very soon, because I know we're known for all the meats, but we'll definitely like to bring some more stuff into the menu. Catering is something that we've been picking up a lot into it. We're booking a lot of catering jobs, so anything that you want for catering, we can create. Not just Brazilian, but we also have a wider menu. We can do any type of food. We have a great team of chefs that like, can create any meal, as funny as it sounds, from Italian food to even Chinese, if you want. Any type of dish you want, you get food tastings and everything, but uh, that's something that we're definitely using a lot here on the boulevard to take care of everybody for your special needs or events. Cuban Express is so good. Our specialty is our, our Cubano sandwich. It uh, has our slow cooked pork with a uh, ham, mayo, pickles, cheese, and mustard, and it gets pressed for about three minutes, but then once you cut it, it's full of flavors. That sandwich is definitely one of my favorites. If you're not into pork, we also have our chicken sandwich. It's just made similar. It's just our, our grilled chicken, marinated grilled chicken with cheese, mayo, gets pressed, nice and simple, but it, it's full of taste. But if you want something different than sandwiches, we also have our potato balls, our empanadas, platanos, yuca frita, we have our mojo sauce, our creamy mojo, and then we also have our bowls. Our bowls come with rice, black beans, platanos, and the meat you want. We have our ropa vieja, which is our slow cooked beef that it gets shredded. Our chicken, which is our marinated chicken. Also our lechon is normally popular with our little mojo sauce, which, which is a garlic sauce that comes into it. So that's pretty much our menu. It's a simple menu. It's like a fast type of ambience, but you can come in and enjoy a meal at our restaurant too as well. We used to be on Avenue I about two years ago, and then we had the chance to move next door as I expanded Rio, we moved it next door and it was, to be honest, one of the best moves ever. Avenue I was great to us, but uh, when we had the chance to do it, we took advantage of it and the boulevard has been great to it. We used to just open 11 to 3 p.m., so we were known more for lunch, but now we open 11 to 8 p.m. every day. So you can come in and you can call us and make an order in advance 
and check us out at our Facebook page or online for Cuban Express and then you're able to order anything that you would like to. The people have been very good to us. All of our customers, friends, and everybody have been supporting us, including the Boulevard and the city of Lancaster definitely has given us a big support. It's good that the whole Boulevard sees everybody as a partnership instead of competition and I love that. I really think that all of us complement each other. One day somebody goes and eats at one of the restaurants, great restaurants here, and then another, another time they come here. So I definitely love what the Boulevard is bringing into that and I just can't wait to see the growth that it's going to definitely do to the Boulevard and every one of us. Yeah.